What's up guys, my name is Kyle Coyote and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be playing The Stag Speaks My Name, which I have to send out a warning because I heard it's very dark and disturbing, like it ha like handles like very serious like subjects and topics, so please like take caution when you're watching this video. Alright, let's get started. Press E to begin. Alright. E. Is that the stack that speaks my name? Alright, I'm gonna get around here. I'm like in space. Alright. Star Wars! Yeah, oh, I think I'm closer than one. Am I closer? No, alright. So let's go forward. Alright. Is it speaking my name? It's not speaking my name. Kyle Coyote! Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Jacob Earnholtz, age 35, 31. That's not my name, but you know what? Um, method. Asphyxiation by hanging. Oh, wow. All right, the stag speaks my name. Okay. All right. Today will be a better day. Well, that's good. It's kind of a crazy painting, though, with the face and everything. Is that me? Am I like a creepy bald guy? <laughs> 3.22 a.m. All right. Oh, yeah, the description of this game says that something about, uh, use the bathroom. All right. Um, the... Anyway, the description of this game says something about, like, a painting. Like, obsessions, or whatever. So, this must be the painting. Oh, this is, maybe this is painting. <gasps> My Babies! Printed by Chico's, <laughs> Chico's Professional Photography. Alright, cool. Hello, my babies. My baby babies. Shrimp, baby baby. Open door. Alright, here we go. Nice little, cute little bathroom I got here. Use toilet. All right, I'm winning at this game. Oh yeah, you hear that pee? That's the sound of me winning. That's a good idea at this game. Boom. <laughs> I was like, finish peeing. I win. Yay. <laughs> okay, I'm done. All right. Um, here we go. Eat breakfast. Objection two. All right. Can we wash hands? No washing the hands. All right. That's kind of gross, but okay. Let's go. Is it all my hair? Uh, nope, there's no door pop in there. I guess I can't get in there. All right, um, here then. All right, there we go. The stacks, speaks my name, blah, blah, blah. Paintings. All right, there's more of those creepy paintings over there. And that's creepy. Maybe that's the static. That's weird. My, I feel like I'm in, like, the poltergeist. It's always, like, painting. I was always, like, TV there. I think, I feel like I'm getting, like, going to get, like, pulled in by a ghost. All right, and the doors, are the doors and the windows are boarded up. That's really, really weird. All right. Okay, take keys. Okay. And can I take the code too? It's gonna get bone right, right chilly in here. <laughs> Alright, is this the bathroom? I mean, the kitchen. Okay. Oh, that's creepy. This isn't the kitchen, but this is super creepy. Alright, here we go. What's this? To do for a hidden door. A, um, wait, to do for a hidden door to safe room. Have a hidden door? Cool. How is that like the door in the. Um, bedroom I couldn't open up? No, wait, that's, it's not hidden, though. Um, have a, have lock and door fitted so I can use my house key. Yay! Alright, glue down light and upright books. Why would I glue, glue down the books? It's annoying when they fall. Alright. How am I supposed to read them, though, if I glue them down? Alright, make books casual on shelves so people don't, so people aren't suspicious. See page two. Page two. This is too formal. This is a good amount of casual. This is so casual that it looks fake. Alright, I don't think any amount like of like books that like you put like in order are gonna look fake, but okay. What's this? Shadows don't naturally divert to a single light source. Oh yeah, possible optical magnetic disturbance. Oh look, we got some Illuminati crap in there. Boom. <laughs> Illuminati. Boom. <laughs> like solved. Alright. Um Black and white, higher contrast, infrared, split shadow, probable setting of painting, but where? The Bahamas are huge. Oh, the Bahamas, cool. So that's where it is. It's just like a small island. It looks like the island over Bikini Bottom and SpongeBob. <laughs> wow, well, yeah, I'm really obsessed with this painting. What's so good about this painting? I mean, is it just like worried about like the shadows? <laughs> what? All right. Um, what's this? 
Oh my gosh, she put a lot of work just... Oh, it's on the ceiling too, that's weird. Alright, that's weird. Alright, infrared, painting signature found. Oh, there's a signature. Was, it, was there no signature on these ones? Oh, there wasn't. Oh, what's this? Oh, there's one on this one though. Alright, A. Maloney. I guess A. Maloney painted it. Alright, here we go. We have the... Oh, Dead Sky. Revealed by scan, uh, picture changer, blah, blah, blah. Um, here we have B. This something is no accident. The seventh leaf is dying or dead, possibly biblical. All right, but what does it mean? Um, B is an extension of the seventh day, the Lord's day, and hints at infinity. All right, color variety. Oh, I like that. That red one looks cool. Um, Blood Moon. Oh, okay. All right. Why do I have so many of these paintings? I'm so obsessed. Jeez. What is up with all this? Left palm, aka Hand of God. Black and white. Um, eye contrast. Lines of influence. Yeah, none of those match up to anything. <laughs> all right. That This is a very creepy room. I'm going to get out of this room. There we go. Let's go eat breakfast. Kitchen must be over here. All right. No, it's an office. Oh, here we go. Kitchen. Eat breakfast. Open fridge. What's this? Police have few leads and disappearance of local painter. Painter. Am I the painter? Wait, Jason Malone. Oh, it's Jay Malone. That's the guy that painted the palm tree thing. Oh. All right. Am I the painter? I feel like I'm a serial killer. Did I kill him? I don't know. Repeal Obamacare? Question mark. Take the poll. Tim Allen com uh, comedy special. Where's that bookshelf? Hang on, I want to find the bookshelf. Here we go. This is a hidden bookshelf, I guess. Still empty. I guess it's shrimp again. <gasps> oh no, am I going to kill my pets? I don't want to eat my pets. Where's the bookshelf? Is the bookshelf in here? I want to find the bookshelf. I don't want to eat my pets. Gross. Oh, there's the bookshelf. All right, here we go. Wait, close this door first. Close that. All right. Uganda and you. How a genocide might affect your weekend. What? <laughs> the autoerotica of Benjamin Franklin. What's the rate of autoerotica of Benjamin Franklin? Six slugs for Mario. All right. What's this one? Mayor's Town. All right. I have a lot of really strange books. All right. Um, does it open? Does it open? I don't know. All right. Um, boom. Shrimp. Oh, here's a bookshelf, too. All right, here we go. Uh, what's this? We rode the mountain. What's the least we can eat? A guide to raising thin children. What? Faking Spanish. All right, that's the book I need. <laughs> Not waving, but drowning. What? 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 Empty Woman. W and the Freedom Fighters. All right, this is a really weird book that he has. Can I open this shrimp? The pink gold. E. Nope, I guess not. I can't open that. Eat shrimp. I'm just eating them raw. Oh, I hear that sound of it eating. It's like... Alright. Just eating shrimp. Eat. Channel line with friends. Alright. You, my friends, are lucky I didn't eat you. Alright. Let's go chat with my friends. But first, that book... That book... Little, little, little bookshelf didn't open. Let's see if it's not No, it's not opening. Oh, it's opening. Alright, cool. This is really weird. What's this? He's scribbling on out. Need sleep. Tired, 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 tired. All right. This is weird. Cause it's oh, here's a door. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Here's more of the painting. That's weird. Oh, my gosh. There's a guy in the cage. What? Why is there? Is it? Oh, my gosh. I thought it was a dog or something. What? Oh, there's shrimp in his bowl. He's just feeding him shrimp. Is he okay? Can I, oh, wait, can I use the keys to unlock him? I can't. I can't use the keys to unlock him. Darn it. That's so creepy. Is he dead? His stance looks like he's alive, but he isn't, he's not moving. That's really weird. I'm getting out of here. That's creepy. That is creeping the hell out of me. All right. That is super creepy. All right. Let's go over here. Chat online with friends. All right. There's a computer over here. Chat with friends. Use computer. That is a really creepy painting. Look at their mouths. Their mouths look all bloody and stuff. That, is, that does not look right. Hi, handsome. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm horny. Smile on the face. Press G to say you're embarrassed, uh, that you've been embarrassed, everybody. Blah, blah, blah. 
Press G to say you've embarrassed everyone who believed in you. Press H to say you can feel the atoms in your body waking up. Who says I can feel the atoms in my body waking up? <laughs> I've never heard anybody say that. But all right, so let's go with G then. Um, I just never mind. I'm touching myself. Do you want to see? Press G to say you're about to do something horrible. Press H to admit that you saw your reflection be decapitated with a shovel. What? Um, G? I don't know. Maybe, but think about how big you are. It's making me wet. Let me, wait, send me your CC info, baby. All right, then. <laughs> Press G to stand up. Okay, what's this? Mom. I guess I'm... Wait, clean the microwave. All right. Let's see. Mom, I guess I'm supposed to write you a note. First off, I don't want to... I don't want you to blame yourself. And with Dad gone, I'm sorry that I have to leave you too. Please don't be angry with me. I really hope he's going on an extended vacation. Because if not, that's a suicide note. And that does not sound good. Oh my gosh. Am I... I'm going to kill myself? Oh my gosh, that's the dark theme. All right, microwave, clean microwave. Here we go. Clean microwave. All right. I need a paper towel. All right, here's a paper towel right here. Am I am I gonna kill myself after I clean the microwave? Why do I need the microwave to be clean? All right, decide what you're gonna do with the man in the cage. Oh no, I don't want to think about the man in the cage. It's very creepy. Um, I don't know what am I gonna do. Oh, what's over here? <gasps> There's a noose. I'm going to hang myself. Oh, God. That's not good. Open circuit box. Electrocute the man in the cage? I don't want it. All electricity, all electricity goes to our guest in case of emergency. All right, I'll electrocute him. Oh, that was going to hear him screaming. All right, return to your room and let your body rest. Did I kill him? I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I don't want to electrocute you. I'm sorry. This is so freaking creepy. Oh my gosh. I'm like a serial killer. <gasps> I killed him. I'm sorry. Can I lock your door? Maybe you're alive. You can get out. No? All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I didn't want to do that. The game made me. I'm sorry. I feel so bad. Even though this is the game, I feel so bad. That's what you get for painting a painting. Huh. Yes. Never use your creativity or you'll get electrocuted by some crazy guy. All right. Said, so get some rest. Well, let me go to bed. What's this? Turn off alarm. Maybe I should have done that when I first woke up. <laughs> What's this? All right. See? Oh, it opens now. All right, cool. What's in here? <gasps> oh, my God. When it said get some rest, it meant kill yourself. Do I actually have to kill myself? I don't want to kill myself. Use noose. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Am I killing myself? I'm killing myself. I'm hanging myself right now. Oh my god, this game is terrible. Jeez. I just hung myself. What? Do I have to let's do like another one of those stories? Alright, let's go to this one. This one's the dimmest. What's this? Name, Nana Hansberry, age 16, method, self and mutilation. What? Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Are these all different kinds of suicides? Name, oral, head crease, I can't read the names. <laughs> age 51, I cap from condo balcony. Holy crap, jeez. What's this one? This is making me depressed looking at it. ZF Lincoln. Alright. 73. Um, something overdose. Oh my gosh. That, that sounds more like an accident, not suicide, but. Okay. Vincent Nebarcano. <laughs> Age 40. Method throat cut with carrying knife. Oh god! I can't think about suicide. I can't think about getting your throat cut split. It's awful. Can I go in it? Alright. Is that it? Do I have to look to this guy? The stag speaks my name. 
Alright, oh, okay. So it's not like another full thing. Alright. Wow, that's creepy. Oh my god. Wow, alright. That was unique. I mean, I'm glad I did it, but that's just awful. Oh my gosh, wow. Alright, so guys, that was the Stag Speaks My Name. It's a life-changing game. Um, it really changes you, basically. <laughs> it really, really changes you. But um, I want to speak a little seriously now, though. Thanks for playing. Alright, I... But, um... Alright, guys, if you guys are thinking about killing yourself, please don't. I know that you think that it will be a lot better just to end it, but it's not you only you that gets, like, affected by that. It's your entire family. It's even your entire community. I mean, there's suicides when, like, um... There's been suicides at my school where, like, the entire community, like, the entire school is, like, thousands of people, other people's, like, wake. It affects, it affects a ton of people, not just you, all right? I mean, it, and there's always a better way than killing yourself. Your life always gets better. Trust me, all right? So, please, if you're thinking about that, please do not. Please do not, all right? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, please uh, like comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.